we got our phone call today from someone who had, he works a security guard who works at a, a nice housing complex around here and there was a large python on the loose roaming around. They have it trapped in a garbage can. Of course, the usual story, they don't know who to call. Nobody will come and take care of this animal. So we're gonna go and, and try to pick this thing up. We have a volunteer who does take care of reptiles so we can give it a good home. But more importantly, we don't wanna leave it out there where it can, A, uh, to get loose in the wild or, or become part of the native population and start killing our native animals, and B, hurt someone or get itself killed. So we're gonna see what happens. Okay, we are here at Avila, and this is the place with the snake. So, we're gonna see what they tell us. Okay, so we have the map where the snake is. This is one of the most expensive neighborhoods to live in in Tampa. So it's gonna be very surprising uh, to see what kind of snake this is, see what we can do about it. You know, obviously we are not big snake rescue, we are big cat rescue. But the problem is when we get these calls about non-native animals, nobody knows what to do and there's no organizations that can pick them up. So again, we're gonna to try to help this snake. We do have connections to reptile people. So we're gonna see what happens again before this snake gets killed or it becomes part of the local wildlife where it does not belong. Well, we're at the, we're at the playground the snake alarm is going off. We're at the playground where uh, the snake supposedly is, so we are going to go see. Okay, well, we uh, brought Anissa along. She is uh, one of our former education directors and a bit of a reptile buff, so hopefully she will be able to uh, identify this snake and keep me from getting bit. Let's go. It's just beer. <laughs> All right, so the snake is actually a red-tailed boa, which is probably a little better than a python if it's uh, if it's hungry. So we're gonna see if we can get it uh, put it in this bag. You ready for it? He's not. He's heavy. Yeah, he's, he's well fed. Yeah, he can care less about. But just give me a mouse. I'm gonna hold him up so he doesn't hit the ground. He's probably been in here eating all these little things. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we got. This is what we found in the neighborhood. It is a red tailed boa, South American animal. Definitely not native to Florida. No business in a neighborhood. Someone's pet that either escaped or they got tired of and tired of it and let it go. He's uh, probably not a lot of fun. He's going to start peeing on me soon. So let's see what we can do. And we do know some reptile people, so we will find him a good home. I guess as good a home as can be in captivity for an animal that's supposed to live in the jungle. <laughs> 